How much did the incidents on Friday affect the rest of the weekend? Well, when you crash two cars, it's always going to make for a very difficult weekend from then onwards. We've done quite a lot of damage to the cars, so we've broken both floors, we've broken both rear wings, we've damaged quite a lot of suspension. And on Lewis's car, we'd also damaged the front wing and done some cosmetic damage to the chassis. So, so damage that we can repair, but not repair over a weekend. That meant completely rebuilding Lewis's car from scratch. And it meant also trying to build one floor out of two. We had one, one complete spare we could fit and we had to get the best out of the two crash floors to build another. And it also meant we were compromised on uh, George's rear wing because we only had one complete spare rear wing that we chose to fit to Lewis's car because he was going to have to come through the field, which meant that George had to fit a rear wing, which is probably not the ideal level of downforce. It was a bit too much downforce for that circuit. Having rebuilt the cars, you've also got to sort of dial in the setup again, and you've got very limited time in FP2 to do that, and that was always going to be another compromise. And then finally, having damaged two cars as badly as we did on Friday, the drivers are now in a position where if we damage them in the sprint race, we may well be in a position where we couldn't race on Sunday. So all of that has to be factored in, and all of that sort of compromises your weekend.